So I think setup wise for me was goodly, okay, but a bit exaggerated with that foot. It's only a little bit. I mean, we're talking like an inch or so, but it's not sort of back on your right heel, okay, so make that a little bit less. Otherwise, posh is very, very good. In terms of your checkpoint, in terms of your backswing, clubs over your toe line, so as you go back, just hand that club to somebody, oh, a bit too quick, hand that club to somebody to your right. That's spot on. You've turned your hips backwards, you've created a space, just put the club there mm -hmm. and continue on the top of the batch. Now, from there, the only thought now is keeping your chest this way or your back that way. Don't want to think about it, okay? Facing target as you come down. Your lower <laughs> half, i.e., your hips are going to move, move towards target as the chest and the shoulders stay back. If your hips and shoulders try and twist to get power, you're over the top, you've got no speed, and you're losing direction. You're hitting the goal ball now with more of a glancing blow. You look at these two impacts here, okay? This was your first one there. As you come in the golf ball. At this point now, your shoulders have levelled off in the club that you're in the golf ball, yeah? Then you're in the golf ball. Now, look at that right. Look at I mean, yeah, yeah. you're way over there. Compare that to that movement there. Again, the hand's working out across slightly. There's impact. Next frame, maybe. There. It's look at that impact. It's yeah. slightly less twist through. But that's 20 minutes of practice, okay? Yeah, cool. Get that feeling with the back and just, just stay back and just get that sensation. This right shoulder staying back and you're beating that bag, okay? The second you get this, you've got a lot of power, but minimal speed. Which is why the ball's not going as far as it poten potentially should do. And when you make contact, we're going to get generally that. Because your club path now is going to be out of the line, swinging left with an open club face. Ball then starts straight and goes to the right there. This one here started a little bit less left. And you can see the ball foot there now bit more down the range there, yeah? Because the club was a little bit more in towards the golf ball, better path rather than being out there. But if you're trying to get the club under plane, as Ben Hogan said, but your right shoulder's up here, you physically can't. Look at the images when he turns back. His right leg's straight, his hips come back, he's back here as he comes in the goal. It's one of his things is the lower half starts to downswing this way by sliding. Yeah. So many guys with the lower half starts to downswing by twisting, and now you're well, yeah. where do I go? Yeah. He goes from here now and does this, the old skimming the pebble kind of yeah. that way, yeah? yeah? Get that sensation of working under that way. Okay, mate? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Good man.